After sailing 700 nautical miles from Greece to Malta, ripping our chain plates out and being smashed into by another boat, the big day is finally here. We're getting married. We have a symbolic ceremony on a stunning cliff, officiated by our closest friends and surrounded by our families. Then we go into the pretty town of Carloforte for a meal. morning as you've seen we are now happily married but we are not very happy with our insurance claim so I'll just recap it really quickly a rib with a huge heavy a-frame crashed into us and damaged our whisker stay and the um, move the bowsprit and damaged the king bolt so we have been waiting and waiting and waiting and after one month the um, yard that's handling the claim for the insurance sent a surveyor. The surveyor was not a surveyor, he was just an intern uh, taking pictures and he was taking lots of pictures to testify that the boat was really old. So we started making a few calculations <laughs> basically. They told us that it would take another few weeks for them to write up a report about the claim and then um, it will take another while for the actual insurance to decide how much to refund us. And on top of that, uh, so the time, there's also some money uh, involved. So obviously we are paying for a marina because we can't use the sails and we don't feel like just relying on the engine. As well, the yard that gave us the quote for 3,400 plus VAT um, said we are not allowed to live on board or do our, any of our own boat work while we're there. So we'd have to pay for an apartment nearby, which is about at least uh, 35 euros a night. And yeah, so between the fact that the insurance would not cover the full cost of the yard quote, so anywhere between 50 and 80%, but because we are an old boat and then we're paying marina fees and then we'll be paying for an apartment. Compare that to how much it would cost us to repair the actual damage, which is 400 euros more or less. We think we would just lose money as well as time just staying here and waiting for the insurance claim to go through. So we've taken the decision to just go ahead and fix it ourselves. It's not really fair because it will have to come out of our own pocket because we very much doubt that the insurance would refund our materials because obviously they need to protect themselves. They need to um, have a professional yard to carry out the works. So yeah, we're essentially losing 400 euros and we have um, sort of lost a couple of weeks so yeah we're gonna fix it ourselves and even though it's not entirely fair we are very much in a better mood now we feel so much better because we are now back in control uh, we were at the mercy of the insurance which obviously we're not doing our best interest well now we can do our best interest and just make our own plans and just move on so yeah very very happy and i got a new client so new work coming in means more money which means that hopefully we will forget soon about the 400 euros <laughs> okay so to take off the plates which are these guys here we need to slacken all the standing rigging and that's what ryan is doing right now trying trying <laughs> it's not all of it we'll leave like a the lowers fairly tight but because the stay sail and the um, head sail both come down and attached to the bow sprit we'll have to slacken everything else up I think yeah that's warm yeah and then to take the plates off it's just a case of um, undoing the nuts and taking the bolts out and then we'll give them to this local welder who hopefully can make them up nice
Before taking the whisker stays off, we secure the bowsprit with two lines. I've removed the old whisker stay tangs and we gave them to the welder the day before yesterday. And yesterday he came back with the new ones. So this is one of the new ones. He couldn't polish it up himself, so I'm gonna do that. Shouldn't take too long because they're only small. But yeah, I'm just fitting them today. So taking the old ones out, I've already dry fitted these to make sure all the holes line up and stuff like that. And then gonna clean everything up and then seal the inside face against the hull. And then we've got new bolts to go through and join it through to the back. There's a backing plate on the inside of the bulwark which we'll reuse, that was fine. We install the plate on the starboard side too, using the same process. Then, we measure the cables and order the rigging bits we need to replace the whisker stays. So this is the king bolt that goes down through into the anchor locker. It's a 12 mil bolt, so it's quite um, sturdy. But when the accident happened where someone broke off our whisker stay, the shock load meant that the bowsprit misaligned and it's bent the king bolt below the bowsprit so somewhere down here it's bent. We need to obviously take this bolt out and then replace it. You can't really get bolts that long very easily so we've got this um, stud or threaded bar you call it. So that's 12 mil as well so I'm going to try and push this down through into the anchor locker I've slackened off the rigging so it's not too tight so hopefully the bowsprit should be like fairly stable but it's not going to move around too much. Obviously the Samson posts hold it a fair bit. And it's not a very windy day, I wanted to do it on a not very windy day. So yeah, I'm going to push that down, try and realign the bowsprit into its proper place, put that threaded bar down through the top of it, hopefully that will just go through, and then um, check underneath the bowsprit to make sure it's fine. I think it is, I had a look under here which isn't too far away and it's not cracked or anything so I'm pretty confident the bowsprit's fine. And then underneath in the anchor locker we're gonna put a metal plate on to reinforce it. So how's the bowsprit looking? So the coating, the paint or varnish or whatever's underneath there looks really rubbish but the actual bowsprit itself is solid so we'll go ahead and bolt it up but at some point we're going to have to take the bowsprit off and 
I think paint it would be best, especially underneath, but maybe all round. Maybe underneath, because it's out for that section that's out of the sun, maybe we could just put a load of epoxy on it to seal it up. Um, but for now, we can go ahead and bolt it up. Yeah. Nice. So to move the bowsprit, you will slacken off the whisker stay on the starboard side. Yeah, and then I'll see if I can just move it by hand, but if not, I'll have to use the other whisker stay to pull it over. Same as it used to be. Yeah, it looks straight. It's hard to see from here. So that's definitely in, because it moves, but it won't move around. Sideways, yeah. Sweetie, you can do it. Yippee! So, um, once I've checked down below, yeah, I'll back these off a bit and put some sealant. Yeah. Okay. Squeeze more out. <laughs> Ryan is tightening the bolt from down below, and I'm just out here holding it. And, uh, Keeping an eye out on the sealant, making sure that it doesn't get out of the masking tape. So in the anchor locker I got out the old king bolt and you can see it's really bent. This is obviously the bit where it went through the deck. It's unreal. Well, through the deck and, yeah. Pretty damaged, but it's amazing it held on, you know. Mm. So we've now received our new whisker stays, as well as loads of other rigging bits. Um, we ordered them from a shop in the UK just because we trust that they'll use good wire and good fittings and do it well. Now we need to swap over these um, whisker stays. Just got like a toggle on the front end and an eye on the back end. So yeah, I'm just going to slacken off the rigging, especially the four stay, so that it's not putting a load of tension on the bow sprit. I won't worry about this one. And then I'm going to 
slacken off this there, this whisker stay. Then take the pins out and then it should just be a case of swapping them over. I got it made with two ends on, um, just to save time really. <clears throat> Quite often with the other ones I get an end swaged on the top and then make up a fitting on the bottom end, but because we could accurately measure the length of this and like I said to save time, I just got both ends made up. So yeah, now I'm going to take the old whisker stay off. Finally, we can replace the starboard whisker stay too and call it a successful repair. Thanks for watching. Go on and leave us a comment or give us a like. If you enjoy our videos, please consider supporting our production on Patreon. Catch us next time to watch us replace our chain plates and set off towards Spain.